Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the next episode of Fabric Espresso series about data engineering and data science in Microsoft Fabric. My name is Estera, and today I have a special guest that is joining us, Daniel. Daniel, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me again. Yeah, last time Daniel was sh sharing the guidance about using uh, shortcuts, using external tables, using views in Microsoft Fabric. So if you miss this video, please check our channel. And today we have a really interesting topic that is loading data into Lakehouse with a cool feature named Load to Tables. So let's start. Daniel, what is Load to Tables? So Load to Tables is a Microsoft Fabric Lakehouse feature that focuses on efficiently loading common file types uh, to an optimized Delta table that is just ready for analytics. Okay? So the feature is designed to make ingestion more convenient uh, with a no-code UX experience. I think at the end of the day, it just makes creating and loading a table for analytics more approachable to, to all skill levels. Outside of load to tables, you would have to either go through like more involved data pipeline, data pipelines and data flows ingestions, having to click more boxes and you know do more things, or even go like to a code based approach and knowing your array around Spark to actually get the data in, in into Delta. So that's what we solved for with uh, with this feature. That's super because it's simplifying. Main, um, basically, I can create a shortcut, uh, as last time you shared, shortcut to external uh, like file, parquet file. And then uh, once I have it, I can just click a button, load to tables, and I have a Delta table that I, that I can like build a, a Power BI report on or just analyze further down. So okay. without coding. Exactly. Fantastic. So uh, are there any limitations? Because I think that we have tons of different formats. We have tons of like, we can have a table that is our file that has billions of rows. Uh, we can have a parquet file that is always like, always partitioned, me meaning that we can have 300 files in one folder. How yep. the load to, tab uh, load to tables is dealing with those different edge cases? So load to tables has kind of pretty uh, comprehensive coverage, right? So the feature today, it covers both CSV and Parquet files, which are the most common file types uh, out there. Um, we will be increasing the coverage in terms of file types moving forward. It also supports pretty much uh, two load modes at this point. It You can actually just right click the file itself and load to a table uh, directly. Like you have a CSV file that you brought over from somewhere uh, or you export it from a, a database or something, and you just load that using the upload uh, uh, functionality of Lakehouse, and then you right-click it and, and load as a Delta table. And you also has, uh, have the a load from folders functionality, which is you right-click the folder full of CSVs or full of Parquet files, and then you send load, and you add that. You can initially load to a table, you can actually append to an existing table. There, We, we cover multiple uh, writing modes to that table. So it's kind of really straightforward because it's all UX centric. You check some options, we validate the, the table name for you, we validate the column names for you, and then it just does the right thing, submits the job that loads the table. In the back end, we pretty much convert that to the Spark code that you, you would have to write yourself uh, to achieve that functionality. So it makes really convenient. I would just like to say that, you know, is this the same mechanism as code? At the, at the end, everything is code uh, being executed for you. But uh, if you try to approach the same problem through code, it's a more involved process, right? First, you need to know your way around Spark or any language. You need to get the data in. You have to know the locations. Code, at the end of the day, it is more powerful. But uh, the average use case might just be better served uh, by a quick load experience. A lot of people just want to drag whatever file they have from the desktop. You know, they have already have a shortcut location full of things. It's very convenient to right click, give me the Delta table, and that's it. I would still say there are some limitations in place. Right, so 
when the the location is more complex, like you have complicated partitions, you have a mix of different file types, uh, or you require more transformations on your data, you're dealing with kind of bad data, so on and so forth, then I think code still serves you better. But on the average case, quickly give me the CSV, quickly give me this parquet as a delta table, you, you'll be right at home. And the code will be always optimized. That is what I understand that, uh, yeah. like not the, the, the code you have to optimize. That's what was my point that you have to remember to put the proper format. And w when you are using the, uh, the, the feature, the button just to load to tables, it's up to us to serve the best experience. In terms of automation, is there any way to automate it uh, in this scenario? So I'm thinking about um, customers, partners that are relying on automation because they are serving to multiple clients. And uh, do we have automate UI or sh we should use code or is there any other option? So all the features of Load to Tables will be exposed as APIs, as public serving APIs. Um, so it, it is coming. It's not there yet. Uh, but if as soon as you get your data into the lake house, either through shortcuts and so on and so forth, uh, even those things will be also available as APIs. But then you can, all, of course, orchestrate uh, all the load to table actions uh, using an external uh, public API. Yes, that's kind of a, re a big requirement that like, data engineers end up pushing. Uh, and we're, we're glad that we're going to be able to deliver that. Loto Tables is all about getting tabular data quickly into a delta table for analytics. Here I have a shortcut to a storage location where I have a CSV table that I want to load. Using the preview, it seems all right. Now let's load this file as a table. Table name seems fine. The CSV file has headers and the separator is a comma. Quick and easy. The table show up here. Let's see the preview. Notice that if I don't like the results, I could just drop and load again. Schema seems all right. Now let's load a bigger table. This one, I will use the load from folder feature. Let's rename it. And this is a parquet file. Now with the tables ready, I've just checked the schema and I'm ready to go and open my notebooks, create a data set and use Power BI to query those tables. If you get things wrong during the load, just drop the table and do it again. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and see you next time. I hope that Daniel will join us for the third time to talk more about optimizing Delta tables for Power BI users. <laughs> see you.